Hi, this slide builds on the pyramid slide that we just saw in the previous uh, slide. Uh, and it, it sort of gives generic definitions for each level of that pyramid. So the first level was what's the mission statement. And sometimes people will say, uh, I'm not in the railroad business, I'm in the, 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 the transportation business. So you define your business in some irreplaceable function, the idea being that we'll always need to move stuff from point A to point B. So if it's railroads, it's trucks, it's containers, it's whatever, we're going to do whatever we have to to keep be, being in the moving the stuff business. Um, I'm happy enough to say, you know, as a hub economics guy, what I want to do is provide premium economics for all my stakeholders. So the very best people attitudinally and aptitudinally are going to want to work with me, for me, uh, buy from me um, and and uh, and put their extra energy, their ownership energy into what I'm doing and join my cause. Uh, shared values. It's one thing to say, well, we want, we're all about excellence. Okay, fine. What are the eight metrics that add up to the service value equation for a given niche of customers? And then how do we measurably know that we are consistently outstandingly excellent at it and how it reduces or lowers total procurement cost or builds the customer's bottom line. To say, well, we respect all people, that's fine. But if we respect all people, uh, we're going to have high expectations of them and for them. We're going to have balance privileges and responsibilities. Uh, and we're going to provide structural systems that say, you know, if you come be part of our organization, you will get premium economics, but that's because you will also be growing uh, with and for us, and you know, you'll either get promoted within or you're building up equity in yourself that you can take and sell to the marketplace. So either way, your value is improving as a, as a career person. Um, integrity or honesty is great. And of course, as you go through all the video clips, it all adds up to G. You know, we need to go open books so we can put everybody in the same boat, have everybody on a Delta P, but gain sharing kind of bonus. And the truth of the matter is, do we really even have a choice in this? Because uh, we cannot create a, high, a next level of service value without just having total team coordination, uh, laser focused, you know, on you know one niche at a time and the important customers in, in, in that niche. Um, as far as vision, you know, our vision generally is to sell, install the best total service value demand replenishment system that's assuming you're in a mature market where 70 80 90 percent of the stuff you're selling is a repeat sell to an experienced repeat buyer who really is sooner or later saying i want to buy the best total supply chain economic so we have to provide that to them one customer and one niche at a time um, our first most initial narrow strategy is to figure out how to renew our historic number one most profitable core at each branch. And we've been through all that. Uh, a strategy map, and there actually are several, but one that I'll remind you of is in an abbreviated form is the service profit chain, where if we get the right people, pay the most to get the most, expect the most, keep them long enough to train them and so forth so we can achieve basic service brilliance. So then we can go out and, and knock off best customers, biggest share of customer and dominate one niche at a time. Then we achieve uh, outstanding profits. Balance scorecard, I'm using the hexagon, been through that ad nauseum. Cascading numbers, basically, this basic allows Wally in the warehouse to know uh, what they got to do to get a gain sharing bonus and, and what that's looking like uh, quarter to quarter. And a strategic information system, that would just be, in my case, I'm recommending an outsourced line item profit analytics uh, toolkit uh, like Waypoint or somebody that would provide something like that. So those are, that's another review of each one of those those phrases to try to give them more meaning and more meat and more concrete under you know uh, heft behind them thank you